Welcome back. I'm glad to see you again. Hello and welcome to an episode of Bob Ross vs. AI Painting. Today, we are going to follow along with a Bob Ross tutorial using NVIDIA Canvas to see if the AI can handle the old ways of painting. NVIDIA Canvas is a free software that you can download in order to do these AI paintings, but you do need an RTX card that is a 471.68 or later. To keep it simple, NVIDIA uses its AI brain to try to guess what you're trying to paint in a photorealistic way using photos that it has in its database. If you like what you see, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the little bell thing so I know that you're interested in these kind of videos and I'll be sure to make more. Let's get started. All right, so now we're in NVIDIA Canvas beta and I know this is going to be a daylight painting so I'm not going to use a sunset style for this so if you're new here you can choose a style that our AI will kind of reference for the image that we're going to create um, since it's daylight I'm going to go with this image here and let's go right up here and very quickly very quickly just drop in a, a happy little sky use a little crisscross strokes since our paint brushes aren't based on color, they're based on material. All we had to do was choose an image of the sky that we're gonna start with. Bob has to paint the entire sky in the meantime. And let's just go right up in here and say, there, just start pushing. Looks like we're gonna start with some trees in the background. So let's go ahead and just draw a few random trees. I know this is gonna look weird right now. Our AI has no idea what we're doing at this point, but we're gonna figure this out. And basically, anything I draw on the right side or left side will duplicate itself. So the left side would be like Microsoft Paint. Um, and this green color you see here is actually my tree material that I clicked over here on the right side. We'll just begin laying in all kinds of little dirt areas here and grass, whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and add some dirt too, so our AI kind of understands that this might be a ground plane. At this point, it still thinks it's just trees coming in from the top. All right, looks like he's starting to add a stream into the middle, so all I have to do is click on my river button here and start drawing a little stream. And I can change my brush size here on the left side. Here we go. There we go. It's starting to understand that this is uh, a river. Maybe we'll drop in a little bit more of this brown color. Let's add some more dirt. Now we can begin picking out some little individual things here and there, so we have to make almighty decisions. Looks like we're gonna add some trees to the background. I'm just gonna add a new layer here and then change my brush size and add a few more trees. I want to see what this looks like if I change the style here. This is pretty cool already, how it's kind of like a sunset style. Um, basically, it's the same drawing I made, but we're changing the environment and the time of day. I guess to keep it as close to Bob's as possible, I think we're going to use this one here. Now let's go up in here and begin picking out all these little individual things that we want. All right, so now we're making leaves on these trees. I'm going to go ahead and use the bush tool here and just add bushes here. Kind of thickens the uh, the amount of leaves on these trees. Uh, I kind of want my river to go over to the left a little bit here. So let's draw it going this way. And some more trees. See if I add trees to the first layer if that makes a difference. No, not really. Looks like he's adding some bushes to the left side, so we're gonna add some bushes low to the ground here. Okay, we gotta start making some, some almighty decisions. Where's our land gonna be? Uh, looks like we already have land made back here, so that works out perfectly. I'm gonna add a little bit of brush to the tip of this so it's a little less rocky. Let's try gravel instead of this rock here. It's, I think it's too thick. I'm trying to reduce this rock size over here. It's, the AI thinks it's rocks. And put in some water lines back here. 
uh, our, our water lines are actually uh, already in place from uh, the river texture, so we should be good with these. Uh, we're adding grass to the lay of the land, so we're gonna go ahead and hit our grass material and just draw on some grass. Oh, it's registering as uh, stone, so this is uh, an issue for piece here. Maybe I'll try the brush tool. Okay, since there's a stone here, we can add a stone, even though there already is a stone in place, but let's make it a little bit bigger. Flat on top. Let's see if we can get flat dirt on top of the stone. So it looks like he's going to be adding a lot more uh, grass to the side, so I'm going to go ahead and use my grass tool again and just add a bunch of grass. Painting it on. a little stone that lives right here. All right, we're gonna put some stones in the water, so let's just go ahead and hit our stone tool and draw these in. And you have all kind of old mossy things that grow on there, so you can put a little of the a little greenish color. If I want to add some green to these stones, I could try to add some brush or some grass and see if that does anything. A little bit of movement in this little stream. This is an old slow stream. Ours is a lot of movement, Mr. Ross. I don't think it could change that. All right, we're adding some stones to the left side now. I think it's too stony on the left side, so we're actually going to start making it grassy, like he does. Let's make a few big old trees in here. We need some big strong trees that'll... Alright, we're going to make some strong trees now. Change my brush size. thinks it's a rock. Let's see if I add another layer on top if it's going to register a tree. No, it's not. There we go. We got a bigger tree going on here. Sometimes it takes time for the AI to understand what you want exactly. I see another one. Another tree on the left side. Let's see if we can add one here. Yes, we can. Oh, look at this. Very cool. Let's make it reach higher. There we go. Yeah, let's add a few to the background here. But I do want my river to stretch. F still keep going back further there. There we go. We do need to add more grass to the background here. Oh, you know what? Let's go with bush. Just thickens the forest in the background a little bit. There we go. A little bit more uh, grassy feel there if I add bush. I'm gonna add a little bit of brush around the edges of my trees here to kind of blend them in a little bit. It overlaps the trunks. Maybe there's a little thing that lives right there. Uh, we're gonna be adding sticks, so I'm not sure how to do that except for just adding trees, but kind of paint them sideways maybe. Ah, maybe we'll try brush. Yeah, we have like some brush on the sides. All right, and just like that, I think we have a finished AI painting. Um, we're gonna put up the picture right next to Bob Ross's and see how it looks. All right, so now let's see the final outcome. Here is Bob Ross's beautiful painting. Very nice, Bob. And now here's my modern day interpretation of his painting. I do like how it came out. If you wanna see more episodes like this where I challenge Bob to more AI paintings, let me know. If you like what you saw, please comment, like, subscribe. I'll be sure to make more tutorials about free software like this and Adobe and, and other products. But uh, try this out. It's free. Tag me in your photos. I'm excited to see what you come up with. And uh, happy painting. See you next week.